long distance transport of water. A twig bearing white flowers is placed in colored water. The region through which the colored water moved is noticed after few hours. This experiment clearly demonstrates that the path of water movement is through vascular bundles, particularly the xylem. Long distance transport of substances within a plant cannot take place by diffusion alone. As diffusion is a slow process, it can account for only short distance movement of molecules. For instance, the movement of a molecule across typical plant cell, about 50 micrometers, takes nearly 2.5 seconds. At this rate, it would take year for the movement of molecules over a distance of one meter within a plant by diffusion alone. In huge plants, substances have to be moved across large distances. In some cases, the sites of production or absorption and sites of storage are very far from each other. Diffusion or active transport would not sufficient. Special long distance transport systems become essential to move substances across long distances at faster rate. Water, minerals and food are generally moved by bulk or en masse from one point to another as a result of pressure differences, whether in solution or in suspension, are swept along at the same pace as in flowing river. This is unlike diffusion, where the different substances move independently depending on their concentration gradients. Bulk flow can be achieved either through positive hydrostatic pressure gradient or a negative hydrostatic pressure gradient. The bulk movement of substances through the conducting of vascular tissues of plants is called translocation. How do plants absorb water? Roots absorb capillary water from soil, water present in the form of fine capillaries in micropores of soil through unicellular root hairs. Root hairs are the walled slender outgrowths of epidermal cells which increase the water absorbing surface area of the root system. Absorption of water takes place on the basis of potential gradient and osmosis. The lower water potential of the root hairs and higher water potential of soil makes water to enter the cells of this gradient increases. The uptake of water also increases. The water absorbed by the root hairs deeper into root layers by two distinct pathways. They are apoplast pathway and two simplast pathway.